All right, so that was uh, Lean On Me, right? And um, so that you can play it in ease. And it's interesting when you're doing that. And let's just jump to chart 61 for a second. I'll show you something. I want to show you here that um, when, when, when we're doing this thing where you start with an E shape, you go some, oh, well, actually, I was doing it in C down here. Some time in, time in your life. So this is a E shaped F, you know, and you're doing these E shapes. So down here, I can get the C down here. So it's C, uh, E shape C, E minor shape D minor, E minor shaped E. E shaped F. Now remember, I can do that because I down tuned my guitar two whole steps. So starting with that that uh, C shape here, now it, it could get a little difficult, okay? Because where is our where is our C shaped um, E shaped C? So we have to look at the E box here, and here's our E shaped C. Okay, uh, excuse me, E-shaped C would be right here. Okay, so th see, this is independent of key. It says E there and E there, but that's independent of key. That could be whatever key you're playing in. That's the important thing to remember about cage shapes, is that, sure, it was written in C because it's C-A-G-E-D, but if you go to the key of, of, of D, you wouldn't necessarily say, oh, instead of playing in caged, we're going to be playing in D, E, F sharp, A, B. Okay, what word would that be? It would be de deaf, <laughs> deaf A, deaf A. Okay, instead of caged, we're in deaf A. But it has to go backwards. Uh-oh, it has to go backwards. You know, so C-A-G-E-D is really... So it would be... It would be def A backwards. A, a fed. Are we playing in A fed? No, we're playing in caged. Because you use the C as the, as the example. So in the key of C. So you see, if we explain everything... That's why some, you know, um, you know, I've probably got about 500 uh, 10 minute video segments on my channel. So it, it'd be a good idea if you do have uh, issues with seeing where where we're at today uh, and you haven't been following the, the videos um, to, to go to the previous um, playlist, not the playlist with Andy playing on piano. Um, <clears throat> that's that's a different playlist, but the ones that are numbered are the uh, are the lessons. So you go back to playlist number one, two, and three. Watch a few videos from there. So caged is actually C like that, and then A G E D. Okay. That's where it came from. You know, in the key of D, it would be different, right? It would be different. So if the whole thing was done in the key of E, you know, I mean, it, it would just be different. It, it would, instead of C, you'd, you'd have D. D like that. You'd have, um, you probably want to start with, if you start with D, then it's going to go to, um, and A shaped, an A shaped B, okay, and then we go to a G shaped, uh, wow, it, now this says it's a G shaped A, okay, and then we're going to get an E shaped, what, F sharp? We're going to get a D shaped E. Notice they're all major chords. So when you're looking in the instead of caged 
based on the C system, we got Cage space on the D system. It would be D major, E major, F sharp major, A major, E major. So that's the thing about music is that if you want to be pure and, and, and exact about it, and that's what I am, and the charts should, should um, show you that, it gets complicated, but it's not that bad. And, and if at least you could see somebody get through it without making a dumb mistake like me, you know, calling a note the wrong note in my head, I got a different note, like the, the, the next note or a note I'd rather play. You know, I apologize for making um, blooper mistakes like that, but I think they're only like 10% of the time. So you should be able to get the crux of it. You'll, you'll hear me repeat the same um, uh, musical relationships and get them right nine times out of 10 or hopefully four times out of five. So what we're looking at here is an E shape and it could be any key. So that E shape C would be there. Now, you watch this diagram here, how it has a slide with a bump in it and then a slide like that, right? This would be that one the two would be going down to the to the to the next E minor shape. The next shape would be a minor shape. So there's the E shape C, and here's the two minor shape. And then you just like a like a determinant. You just come back around here, and you go to the three minor shape, and then you go to the. Uh, right here to the uh, four minor shape so this is our little little bump in the slide you go down here to the major four minor shape and then you go to the five a dominant shape and to the six minor shape you see how they're all the E shapes that's how they map out in chart number 61 you know which is all of the shapes for uh, for the five caged shapes so in the key of c this would be a c shape c it would be an a shape c five root three but really it doesn't even have to be a c it's just five root three of whatever key you're in and then the g shape would be a g shape five root three right there root five, three five so you can see these uh, you know the the charts are are kind of like a, a a study of their own. You know you almost you know using guitar though, it, it's also it's using guitar which is great because once you finish learning all this stuff, um, you can go and apply it on your guitar and play it. Okay, so I'm gonna take it easy today and try to not. Um, I'll let you know when you you really shouldn't try to understand what I'm talking about it can go it, it, you can just skip it and say oh well it makes sense to him well I hope he knows what he's talking about and then eventually it'll come back and and uh, and something will click on you something will make sense I'll try to make this as easy as possible without sounding like you know um, hey this is the umpteenth time I've repeated this you know, it's not, it, it seems like I'm saying it to, you know, someone who, who doesn't pay attention. But that's not, that's not the case. That's not the case. And with a lot of YouTube videos, I'll watch them. And um, I, I just don't like to turn anything off. So I'll sit back and watch it just, just to see the person, how their attitude is towards the guitar. You know, how well well they they explain ideas especially with difficult things subjects like diminished chords and you know if I like it I'll, I'll watch it if I just like the person's personality I'll watch it even though I I know what they're talking about already and it's boring for me to um, see the way they explain it you know so take what you want and leave the rest you know, go and, and, and look up some of these subjects, uh, certainly the cage system, it, it, you know, on other videos and try to get a little background. It might help. 
so <clears throat> this this particular chart here is 137 string and caged 